Well, yet another example of the accurate description of the descendant, the spiritual descendants of Ishmael in Genesis chapter 16, verse 13, of them being wild men. Uh, this is out of Nigeria, because you read, again, you know, the Islam, the Islam religion, it's the spirituality of Ishmael, when you really trace the roots of the whole thing. And the, the description of Ishmael in Genesis 16, verse 12, is wild man, and against every man, and this is just yet another example of that. So this is out of Nigeria. Uh, this is on Jihad Watch. It says Muslims murder three Christians, torch six, ho uh, torch six houses, sorry, loot and burn five, and loot and burn five Christian-owned shops. And he quotes the verse in Quran 860, where it talks about essentially warring against those and striking terror and the enemies of Allah. Yeah, because that is what the spirituality of Ishmael is all about. But it says here in the article, uh, three Christians murdered by ISWAP militants in Shabak. Based talking about the Islamic State, West Africa province. It says uh, this is an international Christian concern. On Tuesday, October 4th, Islamic militants murdered three, three Christians in an attack in northeastern Nigeria. The Christians lived in Nijalang, pronouncing that right, village located in Chibok County. During the attack, the militants burned multiple houses and businesses to the ground and wounded dozens more residents. An area resident who witnessed the attack identified the militants as affiliates of the terror group Islamic State West Africa Province. Chibok County has suffered from many terrorist attacks over the past several years, and it is a majority Christian area, which makes its residents highly vulnerable to violence motivated by Islamic extremism. Well, I would just counter by saying, you know, I, I, I would, you know, reword that by saying that the Muslim extremists are not really extremists. They're just doing what their uh, blasphemous, you know, demonic uh, book of Baal worship, the Quran, actually just tells them to do. So they're just being good Muslims. But it says here in the article, uh, the resident went on to say that ISWAP militants attacked at 2.30 a.m. and were armed with high power weapons. They surrounded the village and shot at the Christians who tried to flee. According to the resident, the I, sorry, move my chair around. The ISWAP terrorists also set fire to six houses, looted five shops belonging to Christians in the village, and afterward burned down the shops. As International Christian Concern reported earlier this year, the Nigerian government continues to deny any religious motivation behind these attacks. However, evidence repeatedly shows that Islamic extremist group Boko Haram and Islamic State, Islamic State West Africa province are seeking to impose Sharia law, basically Muslim religious law, throughout the entirety of Nigeria. You gotta love that. They're saying, "Oh, there's, there's, we can't understand it. We can't find a religious motive." Um, just read the Quran. You know, read, read their hadith where it talks about, you know, I've made, I've been made victorious through terrorism. You see, this, this stuff is all throughout the Islamic holy text. In fact, it's actually often the non-Muslims who are in more denial than the Muslims are, because you have Muslims who would say, "Well, we don't believe that way." But it's often the non-Muslims who are kind of in self-denial for the Muslims. Kind of ironic, but right here, another proof of the Genesis 16. Verse 12 account of Ishmael being wild men, and Islam is the religion of wild men because it's the spirituality of Ishmael. Plain and simple. So, just more proof of that. Islam is a false religion. Islam is clearly of the devil. Islam is murderous and bloodthirsty, and stuff like this is more proof of that. So, anyway, don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.